This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful scenic inside the marquee ballroom where Ryan King Rai Garcia will be making his ESPN and Las Vegas debut. He said he wants to make a statement, end up on the Sports Center top 10. And he's got great things that he's thinking about. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape for tonight's fight between Ryan Garcia and Miguel Carrizosa, where you'll notice that they're both right-handers. He's got a one and a half inch height advantage, two inch reach advantage. But Carrizosa has got 41 more rounds fought. Let's listen to this young fighter out of Victorville, California, and what he sees of himself in the future as a face of boxing. I feel like people are destined to become great, destined to become world champion, uh, superstar status, and I always believed that I could get to that, uh, that plateau, and I, I worked hard. Since I was seven years old, never took any breaks, trained, my, trained with my dad in my garage, and uh, every day we just grinded harder and harder every day winning every tournament we went to. And uh, now the hard work is paying off finally, and I'm excited for, uh, for this fight, September 15th. I feel no pressure being pushed by Golden Boys, you know, for more fights, more uh, bigger events, because, you know, I'm the one that asked for it. I wanted this. I wanted bigger, better fights, quicker, because I know what I could do. I've been in there with world champions, such as Linares, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, Lomachenko, and I've held my own. So. I know that I'm ready for these opportunities and, you know, God willing that I come out on top on it, uh, all my opportunities. I'm like a hawk. If I see the opening, I'm going to attack him. Uh, I'm not going to play games. If I can knock him out in the first round, I'll knock him out in the first round. If I have to box him, I will box him. Anything I have to do to win, I will. I've lived it all in the line in the ring. There's a time and place for everything, so this is my time. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to ride the wave as long as I can. And for Oscar Del Hood to see it too, that's a blessing. He, uh, he calls me his little bro. I signed my big bro then. And uh, we're ready to make some noise in, in the boxing world. Those will be great footsteps to follow if he's able to do it, following in the footsteps of Oscar De La Hoya. Joe Martinez with the official presentation of the fighters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go from MGM Grand Marquee Ballroom, Las Vegas, Nevada, our co-featured bout of the evening. Eight rounds this scheduled for the vacant Junior NABF Super Featherweight Championship. The three judges scoring this bout at ringside, Adelaide Byrne, Bert Clements, and Lisa Giampa. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee Jay Nady. Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner, cornered by former world champion El Gallito Estrada. Wearing tonight, blue trunks trimmed in silver. He weighed in officially 129 and one half pounds. In 12 professional bouts, his record 10 victories. Two defeats with two wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el hijo de Nogales, Mexico, Miguel Carrizosa. And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears black trunks with the flag of Mexico on front. Weighing it officially 130 pounds even. This super featherweight stands perfect in 10 professional bouts, 10 victories, no defeats. Nine big wins coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting pride of the high desert, hailing from Victorville, California, the undefeated King Ryan. Rounds. Gloves, good luck, buena suerte, let's go to work. All right, so both fighters get great work in the gym with top-notch world champions. We just heard the fighters that King Rai, Ryan Garcia trains with, well, Miguel Carrizosa trains with Juan Francisco Gallo Estrada, Miguel Angel Berchel, so he also gets great work at Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico, and Bija, these guys are just ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go, and look, they both look, get quality work from veterans and even world champions in the gyms that they train in. And you know what? It's going to show in this fight. And I both, I see both guys now having their moments. Oh, now, how quick was that? Three, Less than four, 10 seconds into five, the fight. Six, and seven, eight. Are you okay? 
What's my name? Uh, what? Referee. Okay, box. What's my name? Referee says Gary Sosa and just two punches. And Ryan Garcia comes away with a spectacular knockout over Miguel Gary Sosa. He told me when I saw him backstage, I might give you a wink. Didn't give him a chance to wink. This gave, is over, Bihar. He gave us a wink. Yes, Coming sir. To the corner, and let me tell you, Bernardo, I very often get stopped in the middle of a conversation. He said he was going to give us a wink. Wow. He gave us more than that. We can replay this entire fight. Didn't even let us get in a word in edgewise. And this young man looked more than spectacular here in his Las Vegas debut. Bernard, we talked about you need to make it in Vegas. You can make it anywhere. Let's take a look at these knockouts. And we got to see him in slow motion because if not, you might have just missed him. Listen, he sets him up. And he, he really set him up with, like, not even a stiff jab, but the right hand came over it. It was just so, you know, so pretty and, and precise. It was a right hook. It was a right hook. And this is where we go for the knockout now. But when you see the next replay, the knockout, short, right there. Short right hook. Normally a short left hook, but a short right hook from a left hand stance. Wow. Big we, thing's going to happen you, with this kid. If you have the chance to get on social media and see Ryan Garcia, his Instagram is at King Rye. You will see him working on the Cobra bag. And that is exactly the reflexes, the timing, the power that we saw all on display in what? 15, 20 seconds, B-Hop. That's Probably all he a record. needed. Probably a record in boxing. And that's all he needed, the Cobra. He struck. I mean, look at the way he makes him miss at the same time. Big left this hook. And this was a sharp left hook, not a wide left hook, not a left hook just to throw it without looking what he's throwing at. Look at it. This is the right hook now. It's the second punch. That's the knockout punch. But the left hook from before that was so sharp and on point. I was really surprised that he got up, but then when he got up, he really paid a bigger price because that hit with the right hook, as you just saw. <laughs> right hook first drops him, left hook stops him. I mean, if you have any questions about the power of Ryan Garcia, they were just answered tonight. I mean, now we got to see if and when he gets hit, how he's going to react. But when he detonates those punches on fighters, be how people go down. I think it'd be a long time when we see him get hit. <laughs> but yeah, they will go down. And you know what? And he carries it well. It's not like, you know, he know that he got this guy out there. And I'm just looking forward to seeing him grow as time goes on. Yes, we will see him grow. comes officially 30 seconds round number one we have your winner by ko victory and now nabf supervisor greg hubble will present the new junior nabf super featherweight champion with the bell he is still undefeated king ryan ryan garcia all right, you talk about making a statement. King Rai, Ryan Garcia did exactly that. He goes and congratulates his opponent, making sure he's doing okay. And now he makes his way over to our very own Beto Duran for the interview. And uh, Beto, let's hear what King Rai has to say. Ryan Garcia, you told us in the fighter meetings that you wanted to be on Sports Center Top 10. 30 seconds, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. Uh, I was gonna, uh, you know, take my time, maybe uh, see what he got, but the opportunity presented itself, and I took, uh, I took advantage of it. The first time in your young career, you have a belt around you. Obviously, you want one of the bigger ones, but it's a big accomplishment. It's a big accomplishment. It's just my 11th fight, and uh, I'm just so blessed and, and thankful. Thank God, and I'm ready to do another one. I want to get in the ring tomorrow. Now you told Bernard and Bernard, Bernardo Suna and Bernie that you wanted a big knockout. You were going to wink at him. Why were you winking at Bernard Hopkins, man? Because I, I just inspired by Bernard. I'm inspired by his journey. He defended the title. Uh, I think he was, uh, uh, he broke the record. So I wanted to impress him, and uh, I think I did. The king of Victorville. Go and check him out on his social media. King Rye, Ryan Garcia. Be hop no better man to be inspired by than you. And you, you talk about making a statement. He said he would do it. He did say in the fighter meetings, I want to be on Sports Center Top 10. I mean, start nominating this kid, but walk us through. 
right uppercut. No, right off the right jab, it was the right hook. The right hook was right on point. That really was it. But it was set up for a, a short left right now. A short left hook that was right on the button that really was like, he didn't recover from that, but he got up. You know, he showed heart and got up. But it was just a matter of time, and we've seen the time come. This young man won multiple national championships as an amateur, and I see him doing great things as a professional. That's Ryan Garcia. Remember that name, remember that face. 30 seconds is all it took to make a statement in Las Vegas. We'll be back with more from Las Vegas. We still have our main event coming up. Don't miss it.